Hey guys, what's up? John Keegan here, The Awakened Lifestyle. I'm actually in Tulum, Mexico. I'm kind of ventured off into some unknown part. So if I get kidnapped, you'll never see this video. But uh, yeah, I'm heading towards this thing called a cenote. And it's some kind of some kind of lagoon or something where you swim underground. I just don't know. I'm about to find out. But um, it's not like America. I'd take some weird bus to get here. Uh, they dropped me off and I've been walking for about two miles now to the place. So I'll let you know when I get there, if it's by the end of this video. So uh, anyway, I wanted to talk to you about something really um, deep for a moment, which is getting, and I'm taking my glasses off, which is getting over a breakup. Uh, it's one of the most painful experiences known to man. It really is. It's, uh, it's, it's worse than having four root canals all at once, or 20 root canals. It's worse, I imagine, than being shot. It's when you go through a breakup and you're the one being dumped or broken up with, uh, I just don't know a greater pain known to man. That emotional pain and how long that takes to get over is, you know, it's an individual thing. And things like that can seemingly go on for years sometimes. But I want to talk to you about it because me, myself, I've been through it multiple times. And I've always been the guy who believes anything's possible. That's why I'm me. And maybe anything is. But I've always been the guy, the romantic. And, and the romantic is romantic and he believes he can make anything happen and magic happens and it does but the romantic also tries to get her back all the time no matter what even if there's a big reason you broke up and usually guys if you're going through this pain now trust me i empathize with you man i've been in it i've been lost in it <sighs> and typically what happens when a guy goes through a breakup is is the girl gives some warning signals. You guys aren't actually getting along, typically. Um, you'll typically complain about some of her behaviors. and Usually you'll be saying things in a negative way, blaming, a lot of blaming going on. That usually leads up to the breakup. Not every breakup's different, but there's usually those kind of things. Like, you know, at one point you saw each other as two angels, and now, now, now you're calling her evil or vice versa or whatever's going on. And then one day the girl will break up with you. And usually that's when the guy's like, holy shit, I've got to get her back. I've got to get her back in my life somehow. So how does he do that? So he just starts, literally from that day, he starts becoming the guy she wants, everything. He's the, on his best behavior. He's doing everything. He's being sweet. He's cl brushing his teeth for the first time. <laughs> Whatever. You know, he's doing everything to be the guy that he, that she says, that she says that she wants. That you were supposed to be the whole time. And so for him, he goes right into, I got to get her back mode. I've got to get her back mode. And then he starts uh, maybe watching this video. And I hope this video will be better than something you would even pay for. And I'm sure one day down the line I'll have some kind of actual uh, product or something that's really in depth and in detail. Because I have a lot of knowledge firsthand and otherwise uh, on the subject. So I just want to share some now. But he usually goes in and he tries to get her back right away. Desperately. And what he does uh, is, you know, he'll read things like, okay, wait 21 days to get her back, which is a great idea. Uh, don't, don't con no contact 21 days, which is a great idea. Like, that's basically a great idea. If someone dumps you, don't start reaching out over and over and over and over again. It only makes it worse. So the more you try to show you, you care through, uh, oh, I miss you, oh my God, the more she gets pushed away. And that's universal. That's universal, guys. So that universal means she's no different than any other buddy with that, even though you know her specifically and I don't. So yeah, that is a great rule. Take 21 days off. But it's not just 21 days and then, oh my God, she'll come back. It's 21 days to restore yourself. 21 days to, 
you know, get back into your life and focusing on who you are and also for you to really see that most likely if there was a breakup, most likely, that doesn't mean that down the line, years from now, a year from now, wow, maybe you'll get back together. Unlikely. Oof. Fuck. Unlikely. Can it happen? Yes. It has happened to me one time after a five-year breakup. Five fucking years. So, um... Yes, but what I saw after all those breakups and all those attempts of trying to clean up and everything is that when a woman hands you your pink slip, your, your done, the note, and I've had, literally had a Dear John letter written to me. Dear John, literally. I mean, could she have been, and she handed it with pride and pleasure and in perfect handwriting and it was eloquently written and I went, I couldn't believe it, you know. When they get to that point, they've already been thinking about it for months, weeks. This is not them them playing a game. This is them already having talked to their family, their friends, the people closest to them besides you. And they've already, what's up, how are you? They've already given in to They've already made up their mind and they've already healed. They've actually already healed. They've already begun the healing process. Yes, there'll be a phase two missing you. And they might even have some missing moments in the weeks and days ahead. But they've are, they're already 100,000 miles ahead of you. That's how far they are ahead of you. They're already in another planet. Ah, fuck it, man. That's where she's at. She's in another planet right now. So... I'm just feeling the pain of it. And I've been there, a lost, alienated, adrift. Man, and I want to just give you this advice. Guys, this is on YouTube. This is for free, and this is uh, heartfelt. You've got to get back into your life. You do not, one of the big mistakes men make, especially if they were just married, they feel like they have to fill the void. And I've even heard it from friends who jumped right into their next wife. They feel like they have to fill the void they feel like right away I've got to get other love. You know, it's a competition. And especially if she left you for another guy. I got to get, I got to fill in the blank. If she left you for another guy, chances are it won't work out. I've actually had women leave me for other guys. And then I've watched her be with the other guy. I'm living in New York. In this, and oftentimes when you date someone, they live in the same neighborhood as you. Um, I've actually seen it. It looks like they're in love. They're getting married. And two weeks later, it's over. That doesn't mean she's coming back to you. It means she's rebounded on that guy and she's off to the next thing. So that's something you really need to know. This is for real. Uh, You need to go right into what am I not focusing on in my life right now? What am I not doing that I need to be doing to be living the greatest life of all time? And it's not about her. And I'll tell you this. You are off your mission right now. You're not on your mission as a man. You need to get on your mission. I mean, you might even just need to clean your fucking apartment or your house or your room or make your fucking bed. It might be that. You need to start start as close as you can to where you are right now. Clean yourself up. Organize your stuff. Go get a pen and a piece of paper and start making a list of the things that you need to do to get your house in order. You know, like paying your taxes, like, uh, you know, certain bills need to be paid. You see these little things. I need to, I would like to start really focusing in on my health. Am I eating well? Am I I sleeping well? Am I exercising? These things are so vital, you know, and how you do choose to do that is, you know, whole other things. I don't eat any processed foods ever, you know, uh, sugar, flour, uh, you know, uh, I, I try, I do everything I can to eat organic, um, course that's what we're made off of and that's what I'll stick to Uh, and I function very well Um, much better than when I didn't do that so that's another topic but really eating right and drinking lots of water and sleeping right taking care of your vessel in this time is critical as Freddie Mercury said in the Queen song you got to keep yourself alive you know put that on because you do have to keep yourself alive and this is a crisis you're in. It is. It's one of the worst crises you'll ever go through. 
I've been in it. Fuck it, man. Brutal. So you got to keep yourself alive. Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Talk. Reach out to friends. Have conversations. Reach out to women friends. Reach out to your family. Reach out to whoever can, who will listen to you and talk to them, right? But also start focusing. But don't focus on how can I get her back. I can give you this one note on that. You must wait at least three weeks. Do not reach out to her. She's giving you the slip. And then I can tell you over and over, guys who have done that, I know a guy who, out of nowhere, they weren't, they were getting along, you know, they were getting along much better than even I was painting a picture of before, although there were some complaints and some, some reality that he began to see many months later that she actually wasn't for him. They weren't for each other, and she actually uh, was bringing him down. Uh, and she broke it off. But when he followed that advice I gave him, which was, and, and his opinion was, hey, you, you dumped me, I'm great, I'm a great human being, you wanna, you want and he was, he's a serious guy, he's not, you know, fooling around, he wanted to have a really, he was going for wife material, you throw me that pink slip, once you do that, I can never trust you again, I can never trust that, you know, you won't do that, you know, you bring me back in and do it again, and the reality is, she probably will, so, several months later, she came back, uh, she called, left a message about wanting to meet up, he did not respond. She wrote him a letter. He did not respond. She inquired through friends. It, it jarred him because he had a lot of feelings for her. He really loved her. He really saw her as wife material, actually. It jarred him. But, man, he has real integrity. And integrity trumps all. So I admire that guy for that. Because he never went back. And now he's dating a, a beautiful, stunning woman. In fact, uh, I won't say her name, but... She has 13 million followers on Instagram. Uh, so that's what he went, went into, you know? And that's some other advice. The reality is, is there is rainbows and unicorns on the other side of this. There is, uh, you know, life is better on the other side of this. I can tell you, man, uh, my life's fucking incredible. It's incredible on the other side of this. And there's more beautiful women. Yes, I know that no, there's no one better than her. There's no one more graceful and elegant and funny and this and who understands you. And now you have to go out and talk to dumb people and da 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 and all that. But bull, right now, I don't want you to worry about just jumping right into the next thing. However, talking to new people is great. Saying hi. And I want you to go out and start appreciating at one point, you know, first take care of your health. And then I want you to go out and just look at other women and appreciate them for who they are. Not who they are versus who she is. Not who, like, oh, but she's not her. Like, if, if your girlfriend has red hair and you see a, a girl with dark hair and dark eyes and you, you look at her and the way she moves and she has feminine energy, just look at her and appreciate her beauty. Appre appreciate what's attractive about her to you. But do not no need to compare her to what she's not compared to your ex that's the danger just go out and appreciate beautiful women that was some advice given to me that that really helped me i can just look at her and not and not say oh it's not her you know so so that this is some some things i want you to think about number one health number two go out and appreciate other women but you do not have to jump into something new and focus on your mission is there is there some book you're supposed to be writing is your are you supposed to be uh, taking care of something in your business is there some way you can be better at your job do you want to get ripped right now is a great time to focus in on your health and do some push-ups and some sit-ups and some jumping jacks and uh, perhaps take a yoga class or meditate and get into that next thing you know but if you're already doing all that, what aren't you doing? You know, on your mission to be the, to live the greatest life of all time. And that is our mission of all time. And you know what else is a big thing I do? As I go and I travel. Now right now I'm not actually going through a breakup and I'm traveling. Because I love to travel and I love to get outside of my life and, and, and be me. Not just being John the coach, but John the human exploring. And sometimes I like to go on my own, you know. For me, it's important because my job is I'm often, you know, working with people and putting out a lot of energy. It's important for me to go um, rejuvenate and just have some space to me to free flow, to not have to answer a call, to not have to be somewhere, to 
bang into someone, uh, you know, and meet someone new, uh, maybe right here at the cenote or at the beach uh, or uh, at a cafe and talk and see where the good day goes. For me, I, I set aside time in my life to let that happen and that's where the magic happens, you know. So, and also just to have great ideas and also to, to just be, to just be, you know. So what I recommend is big deals is hop on a plane, man. Go somewhere if you can. Or just get out of town for a little while. Leave the hood. Leave the area. Leave your life. Just walk right out of it. Go somewhere else. You will see. And if you're in a cold place like New York in the winter, get in the sun. I mean, it changes you. Like, literally, when I was going through the worst parts of the worst breakup of my life, just going in the sun from a cold place, just changing locations made me feel great. Made me feel amazing. I literally... I couldn't, you can't even believe how healing that is. And then I would land, then when I came back to my life, all of a sudden the pain would reignite. Um, and that's another thing, how to deal with that. But, but going back with the right attitude, all the things I'm telling you to do with actually letting yourself heal, because if they're ever going to be together again, and this is one, you know, the hope that, that keeps you alive, is, is you've got to transform. You've got to change. Not for her, for you. You've got to literally evolve and change. Your whole energy field has to change. It has to grow. So that's a big, big deal, you know, to really understand that. Another thing is, is if you're not leaving the neighborhood or the area and you run into her and you see her, you have to stop looking at it like it's fate. Like it's, oh my God, it's fate, it's fate, it's fate, it's love. Oh my God, universe and stars. I know, I have done that because, you know, I believe in synchronicity and I know what it is. And, but if you do that and you keep put all that onus on it, it just keeps adding to the story. And here's another big point, guys. Let's pretend she broke up with you three days ago. And you keep looking at her Instagram, her Facebook, her friends' Instagram, going down that rabbit hole. That's... Now you're literally cyber-stalking. It's so easy to do. It's hardly a crime. But it's definitely keeping you energetically entangled with her. It's keeping you stuck with her. It's keeping you on the leash with her. It's keeping you obsessed with her. And now you're moving from the energy of heartbreak to the energy of obsession. And, the, and every time you have an obsessive feeling... I just want you to know you're pushing her away further you're, and you're alienating yourself further and you're disconnecting from yourself further and you're going into this space where you're pushing away all women more. So this will be the hardest thing to do in our society. If she broke up with you or you broke up with her, however you're doing it, however you want to communicate it, you cannot communicate it at all, which, which is she broke up with you, you don't need to. It's not passive aggressive. I would delete and block all of her social media accounts immediately. Tear the band-aid off ASAP. It's gonna be hard, but do it now. Really do it now. Don't wait till tomorrow, the next day. Every day you wait, it's like you're still in a relationship relationship with her, but she's not in a relationship with you. She is moving on. She is already healed and she's on to a deeper level of healing. She is already doing her thing. Let her. And the more you do that, that's the only way that she ever would come back, by the way. But that's not what you're trying to... The reality is, is it's small chances. And also, you have to look at your own... In 21 days, a month, I need you to look at your own integrity. Like, hey, I don't need this back. Now, if she reaches out to you and you want to talk to her, that's different. You can say hi. If she does that in those early days and you really feel like there's something to talk about, if there's something to talk through, then you can do that. But it's going to reopen it. But don't you reach out to her. All right, guys. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Get some sun. Uh, sleep well. Drink water. Take care of yourself. Talk to friends. Get out of your fucking world. Leave your neighborhood. Leave your. Get on a plane if you can. Go be somewhere new. Focus on your mission. This is John Keegan, the Awakened Lifestyle, live from Tulum. And uh, if you're on my Instagram, uh, johnkeeganlifestyle.com, you'll see I'll, I'll post some pictures of the cenote on there. It looks like I'm about to enter. So peace and love and joy, guys, really. There's such a great world out there for you. And uh, there's brothers like me and others out there who have um, walked through this, you know, and come to the other side. And 
man, fuck, I know, I know the pain, trust me. And I'm so happy I'm not in it, and I'm so happy to let you know that you're not gonna be in it either. This too shall pass.